but there are five things everyone needs to do in the morning for, for spiritual wellness. You need to meditate. You need to move your body in a way that feels really good. You need to eat healthy food and hydrate yourself. I always recommend eating vegan food because otherwise you're eating death and torture. Whoops. Um, you, you need to journal. You need to do those morning pages. You need to write down all those bullshit thoughts, get them out of your head, and then write down your affirmations and your gratitude. And then you need to get in nature. That's the fifth thing that everyone needs to do. Some variation of that every morning. Yeah? Ideally between the hours of three and six. But you're going to learn how not to get away from anxiety. It's part of the human experience, right? It's here. It's just here for us to observe it. But, but most of those anxious thoughts, they aren't yours. Our thoughts, like we would never say out loud to other people what our thoughts say to us. Because our thoughts are so often someone else's programming in the world, right? Whether it's your parents, you know, marketing, um, religion, right? There's so much programming that's like, you're, you're unsafe, you're unsafe. And let's talk about everything that's unsafe in your life so that somehow I will protect myself. If I just think about everything that's unsafe in this world, then, um, then somehow I will be safe. And of course, it's the opposite. You, you breathe in that anxiety, but you breathe out your peace. I am safe, all is well. I am safe, all is well. And the anxious thoughts come back and they're like, oh, but what about, but what about this? And, um, and you get yourself a puppy and you tell your puppy, hey little puppy, when, when the puppy starts barking at the door and he's like, someone's gonna come in, someone's gonna come in. And I'm like, Spike, no one's gonna come in. No one's gonna come in, it's okay. It's okay, Mr. Puppy. You gotta talk to yourself like you talk to your puppy or your kitty, okay? It's hard not to listen to them. So um, that's why you write them down. You don't listen to them. You write them out. Are you familiar with the morning pages? The Artist's Way, Jen? Look look up this book if you haven't heard of it. The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful practice. It's something I think everyone should experiment with at least once in their life. It's something I've had to incorporate into my life on a daily basis. You write out, so she says like, I think it's like five pages that you're supposed to write out. I do it by time. I'll do like 10 minutes of free writing. And then the trick is you end it with gratitude. You end it with what you want your life to be with affirmations. I am safe, all is well. Uh, that, that can be a nice way to just stop the anxious thoughts in their tracks, just to give yourself a little bit of space, a little bit of space from those thoughts because it's hard not to believe them because we're, we're, we're taught to think so much. You gotta stop thinking so much. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel your way through these things, okay? But the truth is, Jen, you are safe. All is well.